Microsoft has been hinting at cross-platform play with its Xbox One uh, for a little while now uh, in different ways. And today, made good on those hints, developers can build in support when developing Xbox One and Windows 10 games to basically be able to play cross-platform. Um, so cross-platform play between the Xbox One and the Sony PlayStation 4, it sounds like it's potentially uh, possible. Like Microsoft has basically done what they need to do to make that happen. But uh, there's still things that Sony would have to do in order to activate that. Of course, this is early in the week uh, with the... Uh, with the game developers, game developers conference. conference that's going on right now. So who knows? I mean, maybe we'll hear something from uh, Sony about that as the week progresses. But for right now, it's pretty much uh, between the Xbox One and the P and the, the Windows 10 PC. And so that they can kind of compete uh, live across the platforms, which is kind of a big deal when you consider these, you know, the consoles for so long, all these different platforms have kind of, in many ways, just kind of been isolated from each other. And, uh, you know, and, and I think the thought there is so that they could sell more consoles, you know, keep it locked down to just the Xbox One. And then, you know, people would kind of get locked into that console and have to almost be forced to take sides. Um, what I wonder is that the different consoles, you know, PC, the different consoles, they kind of approach game development differently. Like each console has its own strengths and PC gaming, let's say, has its own strengths, but a very different kind of control methods. So, you know, on PC gaming, people are using their, their keyboard and their mouse to do these, you know, kind of controls versus a console where they're using a controller. And I wonder if when you're doing cross-platform gaming, if that gives any of those sides kind of like an edge over the other. Like, is one easier or does one, you know, allow for kind of fine finer-tuned control uh, depending on the game? But, um, yeah. That is a mystery to me. The only game that is played in my house, the most mostly, is Minecraft. Oh, okay. Uh, and yesterday, Microsoft announced that they're open sourcing a project called AIX, or maybe it's pronounced X. Uh, it's a platform that uses the game Minecraft to train and improve artificial intelligence. I found this story fascinating. So the open world of Minecraft offers just basically endless possibilities. And apparently this makes it really easy, to, an easy place to train a digital assistant. AI agents roam the world of mine, Minecraft and now a private beta will allow select academic researchers to get involved as well. So this was interesting. I mean, Minecraft is allegedly making children smarter, also making robots smarter. Why not make the Why robots not? smarter? The robots really need help getting smart, don't they? Because they're not very smart, are they? Um, <laughs> I think I think what's interesting about this is that AI largely, you know, is involves feeding a computer information, and then here's the information that we're giving you. Now learn lessons based on this information, you know, and and grow from there. And in the, in regards to something like Minecraft, I mean, how players play it, and then potentially, you know, how kind of like the AI maneuvers through it. It's really about giving this vast tool set and kind of an unlimited kind of play field and uh, allowing it to just use that environment to learn lessons itself. So what they're thinking is like, you know, instead of, let's say, building a robot uh, in order to, you know, figure out how to teach the robot to climb up a mountain, you build the robot, it falls down. Now, you, you know, now maybe it broke, so you have to go fix it and blah, blah, blah. Instead of doing that, plopping it into a universe like Minecraft and allowing it to figure out on its own over time how to traverse the mountain. And maybe that, you know, informs how the robot is built later. Unfortunately, then we can't get all those YouTube videos of the robots falling down. Well, we can. <laughs> we'll just probably us. be, yeah, be destroyed at some point when the robots finally figure out that we're laughing at them. So. Yeah, I think this is an interesting announcement. I mean, not everyone can be involved now. It's select, uh, select academics, mm -hmm. but it did. It definitely is fascinating because we've talked a lot about Go. You know, the difference between a robot winning checkers and then a robot winning chess and then a robot winning Go. Like a robot beating this completely open world. Of Minecraft. I mean, I guess there's not really anything yeah. to beat. There's survival well, mode. I mean, well, and that's the big difference, right? At least with a game of Go or a game of chess, you know what the end game is. There is an actual end game. And yeah. in the case of Minecraft, it's really just kind of creation is the game, uh, at least in the way that they're going to be doing this. So Right. Well, there's creative um, mode and there's survival mode. Right. So, so you there, know what the end game different. is in survival mode. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to the worlds that the, that the AI creates. I mean, granted, you can have randomized, you know, world generation in video games. Mind you, I have not played Minecraft, so I don't know if you can randomize the world generation. I'd be really surprised if you couldn't. But to put an actual, like, robotic AI behind it and with some, like, thought 
behind it would be kind of an interesting uh, experiment to see what kind of levels it came up with. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Sounds yeah. kind of cool to me. It's amazing. Uh, maybe they make a shrine for one of us. Uh, just on their own, they just figure it out to be like, you know what? I'm a really big fan of tech news today. Right. Probably they've been listening how we have tried to be kind to robots. <laughs> yeah, we don't support kicking robots. Or we, we speak nicely to No, we assistants. never show those videos on our show. Never.